So the Shore Watch program is a network of um, volunteers and a network of sites all across the Scottish coastline. So we run regular Shore Watch trainings across all of our different locations to recruit and train volunteers to get involved in the project. And yeah, they then choose their spots that they watch from and we have these specific shore watch sites all across the coastline so at the moment we're in the Murray Firth and we have um, a dozen shore watch sites across the Murray Firth that are predominantly looking at our coastal species of bottlenose dolphins but like we said earlier we can get lots of different species along here and we pick these sites for different reasons so it might be that there's historic data in that area that is telling us that it is a good spot for cetacean sightings it might be because it's a data deficient area and it needs more data collected from that area or might be a specific important area where we know more protection is needed like a marine protected area. We would want to pick the sites for those reasons but obviously because it's a volunteer-led program we need to ensure that it's a site that's accessible for our volunteers so a site like this is right next to a community it's an easy walking distance but also it needs to be accessible as well people don't want to be traipsing two hours across a hill to get yeah. to the perfect uh, spot to watch cetaceans. We want it to be nice and accessible for everybody to be able to get involved. We have a very different volunteer base. So some people have got lots of experience already looking out for whales and dolphins, or they've got lots of experience wildlife watching. But we also get a number of volunteers that just kind of have heard about us through the grapevine and want to do something um, positive with their time that don't have much experience with wildlife watching or scientific surveys and because we offer these training sessions and we offer on the ground support as well it allows people to get involved at all different um, uh, levels of expertise and again when we have visitors and members of the public just rocking up at shore watch sites our volunteers really enjoy chatting to members of the public and spotting out different whales and dolphin species for, for people to see and it is quite lovely to be able to share a sighting with somebody especially if they've never seen cetaceans, whales and dolphins um, or if they've driven quite far away to, to be able to see them and you can spot them out for them it's, it's pretty exciting. Even though the, the population here are doing quite well we need to make sure that we manage our impact on uh, whale and dolphin and porpoise species. And there's different threats in different areas and different threats affect some different species. But here, uh, there are several threats that are facing whales and dolphins and we need to be mindful of, of our activities on the water and how we can help. The things that spring to mind and particularly what WDC are working uh, very strongly on is a bycatch. And so um, bycatch is where whales and dolphins are getting caught in fishing gear where they're not the targeted species. And so there's things that we can do. Uh, we can make choices as consumers and we can pick um, different ways of, of, of shopping and eating. So definitely looking at um, getting the most sustainable fish if we are fish eaters, uh, picking the most sustainable fish to eat and checking um, where they're caught from and if they're dolphin friendly and things like that. Looking at as a kind of on the ground level what we can do is keep kind of putting pressure on our governments to make sure that these areas are protected properly um, so write to your MSPs, fill out consultations for anything that's happening in your area but also there's research being done where there can be different uh, fishing techniques and that's something that we're very supportive of and you know we want to work with fishing communities and make sure that um, where their livelihood depends on fishing and um, they are supported as well.